Hello, my name is Gili Hamovic. I'm an Israeli poet with a Canadian background. I'm very thankful and happy to participate in Mexico's International Poetry Festival in the Place of the Shields. I'd like to start with a poem dedicated to Mexico, Arrival. It will be hard to fall for this one. Does gratitude measure up to happiness? I land in Mexico City after a long flight, after a long life's pause. Children, my shortcomings, my short-lived travels. This arrival is long and so is my becoming. Will this one break me in order to sustain longer in my body? The ability or disability to split into different fractures of life. I'm on the lookout for a moon within reach, compromising on the one of Mexico City that when I turn my back to, switches from orange to silver. And from Mexico to Jerusalem, from my last book, promised lands, kiss. I'm revived, like Hebrew, like evolution. You know resurrection isn't always pleasant. Even if you're told you're good as gold, it's your intentions that glow, Joe, under my skin and cobblestones. Teach me how to walk on faith, Joe. My Jerusalem is always forsaken, always searching for respite. I'll show you how to walk away. Teach me how to show the other chick. I'll do my best to kiss it off. And still about Jerusalem, but this time in Hebrew from my recent Hebrew book, Orot Mechita, Landing Lights. ואי אפשר פשוט לא מצליחה לפחד יחד עם עוד מישהו לשאת את השק להר שהוא תמיד הר העצה הרעה הרי נולדת בירושלים עזבת אותה כל כך טוב שעד שאחרים מחזירים לך אותה את לא יודעת אם שלך הייתה שונה. אני הולכת ומתחיה כמו אבולוציה. אני לא יודעת אם אני רוצה להפסיק או יכולה, אבל מתביישת מהאפשרות ליהנות ממותו של מה שהוא מת. שלא אתפס אפילו כרומזת, כשמחה על צורכי בתחייה. עשו את זה לפניי בתוכניות טבע בהילוך לאחור. צמח נבול הופך לירוק וחוזר לגרעין. או שאני מתבלבלת. And I'll end with a new poem. It refers to this um, crazy last year we all had. And we're wishing you this coming year will be a happy, a happier new year. Listening to gifts. This year insists on bearing gifts, as if being sugar-coated would fix its first, even its last impression. May this blinding standstorm wash it away with all kinds of pampering deviations, keep only hearts and books near and open. The ingredients of being, the fabrics, grains of sand, of wit, clay that is actually mud or vice versa, are spread, unraveling. What can you do but listen to time's slow movement, to its gentle shifts from survival mode, narrowing down through the waist of the hourglass and then expand again to the luxuries of purely being, to swim ahead to this year's ending as if its course is not still running, running you over. Hold a seashell to your ear and listen to its hushed rustles, reminders of small, salutary freedoms. Thank you.